Well, first of all, thanks everybody for the great response. It's been wonderful to get so much feedback. Uh, one of the most common questions that was asked is, can you take multiple connects and then have one over there and one over here and one over here, and then merge the images uh, to fill in all those uh, nasty shadows? Actually, let me rotate myself around a little bit so that we can see what nasty shadows I'm actually talking about. Uh, these nasty shadows. So, okay, question was, how would you connect multiple of these cameras in order to fill in those shadows um, so that you get a full 360 degree view? And uh, unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. Uh, based on the way that the Kinect works, it's most probable that it will not be directly feasible to connect multiple of them without some major, major hardware hacking. Uh, the reason being that the Kinect uses an infrared projector to project out a structured pattern of light. Uh, so if you were to have multiple in the same room, sh illuminating the same target, then connect number one would see the infrared pattern on connect number two and would probably get horribly confused and would just break down entirely. Um, I haven't been able to test it yet because I only have one of those guys, um, but that's currently my best guess as to what would happen. So unfortunately that's not so great. I was actually, when I bought this thing initially, I was hoping uh, that I could buy just two or three of them and then have a full uh, 360 degree capture, but well, hopefully in, at some point, but maybe not right now. So there's two little pieces of good news. Uh, one of them is that one of the uh, commenters pointed out that, hey, why don't you just put a mirror in the room? So my Kinect is currently sitting over there, so I could have a mirror back here and then merge the mirror images. And the answer is, well, that might actually work um, because then the Kinect will see the back of my head. Uh, it will, of course, think that it is behind the mirror and projected out. But then by setting up the software in a proper way to cut out the mirror, you can then in software flip it back and merge things and hopefully uh, get a good, pretty seamless fit out of that. So the problem then is the question, will the Kinect interfere with its own IR pattern? I don't know that, but um, chances are it won't. So I'm going to try that at some point. I don't have a mirror here right now, um, but I'll try that next time I have a chance. And the second bit of good news is uh, a lot of people also asked, can you use a single connect and move it around in order to capture a larger area and then just merge everything that the thing saw. So pretty much creating a map of the environment as you go along, which is that so-called SLAM project that people have also been referring to. And well, the answer is yes, you can. So let me pick up this guy. And now I'm moving it around. Uh, and that's what happens. So you do get 3D reconstruction even as I'm moving it. That is my computer monitor, by the way. And so if I move this a bit in 3D, you can see uh, what that thing looks like. So it works. Um, let's see, let's move this a little bit this way again. Right now, of course, uh, I'm not doing any merging, so I'm just using uh, the, in the immediate uh, depth reconstruction that the Kinect gives me to show that uh, mapped into space, so these things don't overlap. I cannot just sketch out the entire room, uh, which is actually very messy anyway, so don't look at that, um, and then uh, get everything in one big 3D model. That is definitely possible. There's a very there's a um, couple of different approaches to make that happen, and as soon as I have a chance, which is probably going to take a few days, uh, I'm going to I'm going to look at uh, what you can do about that. So the idea would be that you can't see your entire room all at once because you only have one of them, but you can just uh, sweep it out and essentially create a static 3D image that is your entire room or your entire house, or you can have a single person standing there and walk around them with a connect and create a full 360 view, uh, something like that should actually be possible. So stay tuned.